Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. We're going to uh, put some side protectors, frame protectors on uh, the Honda CRF um, 300L. The people have talked about the frame paint being fairly thin on here. Um, and, and I can see, I think it's holding up okay, um, about as well as anything else, but you know, with boots rubbing on here, eventually it chafes through. Um, I was hesitant to put this on at first because I didn't want to lose this cover that protects the engine and also a little brake. There's a brake switch behind here. But when I started to look at the new cover, it actually adds protection. You're gaining protection back here over your rear brake master cylinder. And you're, it replaces this one up here. So you're gaining that back. So this is a, a no-brainer and the red matches good. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do this upgrade and it protects your frame. Now on the other side of the bike, I did notice a little wear starting, um, you know, back here. And so, you know, this will help prevent that because it's going to go, um, go over that. So definitely a worthwhile upgrade. And I don't have a lot of miles on this bike, maybe a couple hundred that's starting to wear. So um, let's put these on. Generally speaking, I've found these frame protectors very easy. Uh, to put on by Acerbis. Um, here's the part number for the Honda Sierra um, 300. I got the red. I think they do have a black or black gray. I got the black and red. You can see the part number there. Um, and they just basically go on the bike with these little, you have two sizes here, smaller size rubber band in a sense, O-ring for smaller frame tubes and then the larger one for larger portions. It always comes with instructions, but most of the time you can just use the bigger bands where the bigger tube is, smaller bands where the smaller tube is, and that's that's that. So you can look at this and you can see this is wider, that'd probably be a bigger band. Wider here, bigger band, narrower here, and I guess that's gonna be a smaller one, so it should be, should be pretty easy. And sometimes they even give you a few extra ones. So let's get started. First things first, let's remove this cover from the right side of the motorcycle. I'm sure this is going to have to go, so we'll just uh, use a little um, wrench there to remove that. Looks like it's a 5 millimeter Allen or hex key, so should be should be pretty easy to break that loose. I think I'm going to use both hands on that. That was in there tight, required two hands to break it loose, but once it broke loose, it's coming out very easy. Once you have that out, this just pulls off. Now we can replace with our new cover. So super simple, we take our cover and we just place it on here. And it looks like it fits like a glove. We'll replace that um, bolt in here now. And then we'll put rubber bands, elasticized bands around this part, this part, and that. Yeah, I guess here, here, and up here, and put the bolt in. That's it. That'll look good too, so let's get to it. I put a, put a little blue Loctite on there to keep it from... Um, vibrating out, but you don't need to do that. So we have our bolt in, got it snug but not crazy tight. It's only, you know, it's a pretty pretty small bolt really. Um, how do you get these bands on? So I usually put the most difficult one that's hard to reach on first, which was this one, and then the second one is usually easier to get to and you can just put it on. And good. And so down here, I'll do the same thing. I'll hook the most difficult one to get to first and then you know save the easier one to get at for last likewise I'll probably hook this one first and then come around here and put that on and it looks like we're gonna use the smaller ones here larger band here larger band there so let's go ahead and put those bands on now so there's the um, right side of the cover and Astrobus does you know, encourage you to remove these intermittently to clean behind here in case you got grip behind here that would grind into the frame. I'm sure that's a good idea. I'm definitely not real good about removing these once they're on, but 
I'm sure they're right. I do like the added protection that this offers, especially on the right side. It maintains the protection over your, your brake adjuster, brake light adjuster. Um, you can actually gain, it gives you access to the adjuster knob if you want to adjust that, so that's cool. And then likewise, it still lets you access your rear brake reservoir, but it's adding a little bit of protection. Yes, it is plastic, but sometimes you just need something to keep it from a rock or something from snagging that. So I, I'm happy with that. And then it's definitely um, protecting your frame and still leaves, stops right before the weld. So I, I'm happy with how that, that fits on there. Let's do the other side. The left side of the motorcycle is even easier yet. It looks like it's just, um, there's nothing to remove. You're just gonna put this on and then you'll have, uh, looks like to me, a wide band up at the top and a wide band at the bottom and a narrow band back here. Let's take a look at this, this wire loom cover here. Make sure that's gonna end up okay. So we'll evaluate that now. We may need to etch, cut that out a little bit to relieve for that. Okay, that went on there very easy. I didn't need to cut a relief spot for that. Astrobis already did, and with the bands on it, it's, you know, getting on there fairly tight. Just make sure when you're looping your band behind the frame where there's wires, that you're not, you know, clamping any of those wires to the frame. Um, same down here, we have the kickstand. Um, you know, the sensor to let you know your kickstand's down. The wire goes here, so the the rubber band goes underneath and behind that. You don't want to strap that down. Um, I did end up using a a spring um, tool, and you wouldn't have to. You don't need this to complete this job. Just so I could reach under here, hook the band. And then I was able to pull it out and hook it. It just made my life a little easier. I could have done it with my fingers. It might have just taken a little more finagling. So you don't need this tool. And a couple of O-rings left or rubber bands left for extras. And um, there you have it. Very, very easy. It'll protect your frame. They like said, though, you just have to watch it. If you get grime and stuff behind there, it could grind. So just be aware of that. But it will protect you from mechanical abrasion against the bike. And then let's, uh, still getting organized here in the shop, but let's just take a look at it from a little ways away. Yeah, it looks good. It doesn't look obnoxious. I never, I don't like upgrades when they look like they're not supposed to be on there, but these, these look like they're supposed to be on there. I don't, yeah, it, the red is close enough. I mean, it matches, so no, that, that looks like it's supposed to be on there. I like it. Here's a video of the other side. Yeah, so so I like it. Protect your frame. I know some people talk about that as an issue. Um, stay tuned. We're going to do a bunch of other videos with this bike and other bikes. Just more riding fun. And hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Hope you're all doing well. Um, get out there, seize the day, and ride. Oregon Moto John here. Um, I just tried out these Acerbis uh, frame guards. They work great. They look good. Just an added benefit that I didn't think of was this has the exhaust that goes underneath this right side of the frame. Plus you have the radiator blowing back. Plus you have the exhaust header behind you like I was saying. This does, the metal did get warm. With the rubber on here, it still gets warm, but it's a little bit of an insulator to your leg. So yeah, just, just something to think about. Um, so there's an added benefit in addition to protecting your paint you get a little insulation from the heat on the right side All right. Thanks for tuning in more to come